Welcome. We're at the Catherine W. Woods School of Nursing at Campbell University, and I want to talk to you a little bit about our Bachelor's of Science in Nursing program. So the Bachelor of Science in Nursing is a highly sought after nursing degree in today's healthcare setting. It allows students uh, who would like to be an RN to have a smoother and quicker progression into practice, as well as into advanced practice, leadership, graduate school, all of those types of things. And so for our program, what makes it a little bit different is we have a focus on rural health care. Obviously, being in Bowie's Creek, um, that's one of the missions of the university as well as the College of Pharmacy and Health Science. And so we are here to learn about how to improve the health care of uh, rural communities as well as any population that you may encounter. So the first two years of a Bachelor of Science in Nursing at Campbell University is going to be your general education requirements. So it's going to give you time to adjust to college life, to understand and build your knowledge base, to work on some study skills and some life skills, and ease that transition into something that's going to be can be very difficult in terms of learning nursing. Um, some of those courses obviously will be uh, some general sciences, some definitely some anatomy and physiology so that you can learn how things work in the body. You also do some team and communication courses because in healthcare that's one of the things that we have to do is we have to work with a team and to learn how to interact with a variety of different uh, people and cultures and languages. And in that undergraduate you will also learn some psychology, sociology, and then have an opportunity to explore some of your own interests in terms of maybe some music and art, drama, those types of things. As you progress into after those two years, um, the junior and senior year will go into your nursing program. Once you're admitted into the nursing program, you'll begin those courses and in that very first semester, we're gonna have you in those clinical sites. We're gonna get you into some local facilities, teach you all those basic nursing skills. As you progress, you'll build on all of that knowledge semester to semester and build your nursing skills and knowledge and transition into more acute care settings. The benefit of being here at Campbell is we have lots of surrounding counties and facilities right within our county that we the students get a good variety of different types of facilities. We use the local community hospitals, we use local skilled nursing facilities, and then we can also, as you progress and learn more acute things, we can move into the bigger health systems such as Wake Med, Cape Fear Valley, and First Health that give our students a much broader and bigger picture of what nursing is. Um, within our program, what makes us a Bachelor's of Science is not only do we teach you bedside nursing, but we also talk about how to be a leader within healthcare and how to really expand the role of the nurse. We will focus on things such as evidence-based practice research, that your practice should be based on uh, current research and moving forward, help you to actually develop your own ability to do research. We look at leadership. We have a transitions course that helps you transition, transition into that practice. We do informatics. We do um, population health, which is getting to learn the vulnerable populations. And since we've seen with the uh, pandemic, public health is a, a definite need and a skill set that will be valuable moving forward in, in health care. So we offer a lot of different things besides just the bedside nursing. And that's the benefit of that Bachelor's of Science degree is really building that foundation of who that whole role of a nurse, that they can do so much more than just take a temperature and listen to a heartbeat, that they are really managing the health of patients that they encounter, whether they encounter them in a doctor's office, they encounter them in a hospital, they encounter them in hospice, they even may even go into their home, um, or as we've seen out in mass clinics um, at a civic center. So it, we, we allow the student to really build those skills no matter where they might want to nurse. We also are able to place students in a different variety of types of specialties. So we obviously we will start you out in looking at geriatrics, because that's a growing population in our world. And so we teach you how to um, manage the care of that population. But we also look at things such as we have a pediatric rotation, we have a labor and delivery rotation, we place students in clinicals on a surgery trauma unit, we place students in a neuro, uh, neurological unit you know, where you deal with patients that have strokes and closed head injuries. And the best benefit is in the, the last senior semester, you get to do a preceptorship, which is with 
with a nurse at a facility. And so students have some choice in terms of what type. We try to match students with the type of nursing they think they want to go into. Uh, in the past and in this current semester, we've had students in the emergency room at several facilities, the pediatric emergency room, psych, wound care, surgery trauma ICUs, cardiac trauma ICUs, general medicine floors, COVID units, all types of uh, specialties. So students can really start fine tuning where they think they wanna go. Uh, students have actually gotten job offers. Um, definitely this semester have gotten job offers from that experience. And so that allows us by having so many facilities um, in our, with, that have a collaboration with us that we are able to offer that to our students. We are definitely building our alumni base. Our first graduating class was in 2018 and so now we are continuing to build that alumni base. So those alumni have done wonderful things as nurses already. They're winning awards at their facilities. They are serving as preceptors for us and clinical instructors for us. They are going back to graduate school. They're going back to graduate school for doctorate degrees already, uh, nurse practitioners, uh, and all type clinical research. We've had a, a nursing graduate already come back to Campbell to go into the, the Masters of Clinical Research. So there's lots of different avenues that that Bachelor of Science will offer to you. It makes a much nicer and quicker transition into graduate level studies we will also see a lot of the major health systems now are requiring a BSN within so many years of hire if you don't have it when you go in. These clinical sites as our students are graduating now are being sought after because of that Bachelor of Science in this area. And so we see that we have not had a student who did not, who was looking for a job not to get a job. So most students are even getting jobs in their first choice of spot. So that's been really great for alumni. Um, at, the, at the School of Nursing, we also, uh, within nursing, you have to pass a nursing board at the end of graduation. So you will graduate with a Bachelor's of Science, but at the end of that, you also have to take a test um, given by the North Carolina Board of Nursing or any state board of nursing that says you're safe to practice. And so with, at the uh, Catherine W. Woods School of Nursing, we currently have a 93% pass rate over our past three years in that, which is above the state and national average. And so that is really helping our students to get the jobs that they want um, and be, begin to work as soon as they want to work. And so that, that works really well. So one of the benefits of being a part of the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences here at Campbell is the opportunities for interprofessional education. So we refer to that as IPE. And with that, the nursing students are able to interact with a variety of healthcare provider students. So it simulates like being at a clinical site. And so they're able to interact and learn the role of the nurse and how that compares to what other providers are doing. So in, in that term, in that sense of what do we do? How do we communicate? What kind of knowledge do we bring to the table when we're talking about patient care and looking at health care? Not only do the students have that opportunity, both informally and formally, so through formal activities, but also informally as they move around the building, as they go to study groups or other um, social activities that we may have on campus, virtually or face-to-face. -face. But we also have the opportunity as faculty to interact with one another, to teach in each other's courses. So we have the opportunity, we've had physical therapy, we've had pharmacy, we've had clinical research, come and do lectures and talks with our students, as well as the nursing faculty have been able to go and teach in clinical research and physical therapy. And so that's been very nice and been able to really bring a different perspective to healthcare and healthcare education. What we've been doing since we've started this program is developing our program, fine tuning all those pieces, adding courses. We've added and um, revised a few courses in that time frame. And most recently, we've added a student success uh, position and started a peer tutoring. If you ever hear about nursing, it'll be the hardest thing, nursing school will be the hardest thing you ever do. And so we recognize that and we're bringing those resources to help students be successful in this program. That's one of the, the biggest benefits of at Campbell of being in our BSN program. It's a small program. We admit 50 students per year for a total of 100 in our total um, nursing
nursing population. That's what the Board of Nursing tells us we can have and we find it's a really good fit for Campbell is to have that, that class size. And I know sometimes 50 seems like a big number, but in nursing school, that's a small number. Um, you'll be in the same class with all the same students. We do block, um, we have a block curriculum. So you're in the courses in a set pattern. We do that on purpose because each course can build on the other. And so we find that that brings us continuity to what you're learning and allows us to develop your thinking and your skills in a, in a set pattern. In our courses, we also do active and team-based nursing. That has been found to be the most um, effective way of really learning difficult material is to be able to engage with it with your peers to be able to do something with it because nursing is a a go-do kind of profession right and so we have found that that active and team-based learning has really allowed our students to develop the knowledge they need and so you will not be sitting in a classroom listening to a instructor read a PowerPoint we will be walking around the room you will be sitting in circles with your team and you will be interacting with each other and with your faculty that that classroom of 50 allows the each faculty to know every person in that classroom your faculty advisors once you get to nursing are the same people who are teaching you in the classroom classroom and in clinical. Uh, we have a great faculty here. It's small, um, but they are very well versed in nursing education as well as being experts in their own nursing practice. We have labor and delivery nurses, we have population health nurses, we have nurse researchers, we have emergency room uh, nurses and long-term care nurses. So we come from all different backgrounds and are able to pull our expertise together to really give a well-rounded program. Uh, we have a great support staff here at Campbell. The students have access throughout all of their university um, time to all the resources on campus. So even when you come to nursing, you still have all the resources that you did when you were um, in your general education courses. So it gives our students a great uh, resource to build their success. The Catherine W. Woods School of Nursing is a nationally accredited nursing program. This recognition is something that brings to light our excellence that we have in our curriculum and in our student success.